In this tutorial, we are looking at the electrical activity of the heart, known as the conduction pathway. So it begins with the sinoatrial node, the SA node, known as the pacemaker. It is found in the right atrium, and these are specialized cells in that they can generate and conduct impulses without needing external stimulus. That means that if you were to take this heart out of the body, it can still beat. The nervous system can actually make our heart go faster, such as when you're scared, or it can cause it to beat slower, like when we are asleep. But the nervous system itself cannot generate the impulse that comes from the SA node. Now, the heart can't actually contract unless the SA node is able to transmit its impulses throughout the rest of the heart. So this begins with the SA node and the internodal tracts and Bachmann's bundle. Bachmann's bundle is the superhighway, if you will, to the left atrium, and the internodal tracts go from the SA node directly to the AV node. These are our conduction cells. In order for the muscles to contract, those conduction cells start off a waveform, like a domino effect, and where the myocytes, the cells of contraction, undergo changes between their intracellular and extracellular compositions of sodium, calcium, and potassium. Now, because the cells need some time to activate all of the cells of the atrium, the AV node acts as a delay point in which the energy is not transmitted to the ventricles immediately. Now, because the AV node is also made up of these specialized cells, it too has an intrinsic firing rate of about 35 to 60 beats per minute. So if the SA node is damaged or fails to fire, the AV node can take over and keep the heart beating. Once past the AV node, it enters into the bundle of Hiss. So the bundle of Hiss branches off into a right and left bundle branch. The left-sided bundle branch further breaks off into an anterior and posterior fascicle. At the end of all of these branches, we have the Purkinje fibers. The Purkinje fibers also have an intrinsic firing rate of 15 to 40 beats per minute. But the reason we don't see the AV node and the Purkinje fibers driving the heart rate is because the SA node drives it faster. So that's our lesson for today. We're going to bring this information forward into another video when we look at the ECG tracing, specifically breaking down just how long it should take for each of those components to fire. And you're going to learn that that tells us some really important information as to how well the heart's working. Make sure you subscribe before you go and leave a comment. Let me know if this helped you out. And until next time, Make it a great day.